These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> All right, well, what's up, everybody? It's Green Green back here, and today I think I'm going to do my full review for the Vaporesso Cross 4 Nano. I didn't do any sort of day zero video for this, but that's fine because, as you can see, this has a mother truck and puff counter. We've just rounded 1,224 puffs on this, and all 1,224 puffs on this 0 0.8 ohm cross 4 coil head have been, I mean, flawless, perfect, amazing, beautiful, dense, rich, super flavorful, just such an enjoyable experience. Let's take another look at that screen. This is set on the spinning globe mode, but if I one, two, I can get into a menu where I can change it from a motorcycle to a flower. I can change the puff counter or clear the puff counter rather. That's the universe motorcycle flower or you can turn all the animations off let's check in on the motorcycle hey now it's a motorcycle <laughs> oh that's kind of my best motorcycle sound when i take a drag i get this like check this out skidding out look it's not entirely dumb and then lastly the flowers one i actually rocked for a little bit it's just pleasant it's not awful to look down at the at your pod in the middle of the day and see a see a flower what is that like daffodil no that's not a daffodil my dad would be ashamed he was a botanist this little animation's just a, a blooming flower you love to see it i like this screen it's square obviously behind this circle and that doesn't really bother me because it's pretty convincing what i don't super love about this circle is a hi welcome to fingerprint city yeah it's fingerprints everywhere that and i guess i don't understand this design choice where it goes from matte to glossy to matte again because then there's this little doopy right here and then this little doopy right here and these don't do anything at first i thought this was a button and i thought oh that's cool oh no it's not a button it's just a it's just a little doopy thing that's right there. And I can't help but look at this doopy thing and think it's something that needs to be peeled off. Like, I feel like this is unfinished and I need to peel the rest of this off. I don't. That's kind of just the way it looks. And if it doesn't bother you, then it doesn't bother you. But man, it, it kind of honestly bothers me. The back of this is not smooth in any way. And it is a thick boy with the USB-C on the side and the fire button slash, you know, menu button on the side. He said smooth in any way, and I think he meant squishy in any way because it's smooth. It's smooth all over the place. You can see on the video that it's smooth. It's smooth. It's just not squishy. It's not padded. It's like hard plastic, but smooth, just not squishy. And actually, while I have you here, since he doesn't mention it for the rest of the video, I want to talk about leaking none on this. I generally don't with the cross pods, and I take these everywhere. I want to take them everywhere because they vape so well up and down an elevation, in and out of pockets from here and, you know, around my errands. No leaking, no weeping, no seeping. I'll show you. I mean, you tell me, I didn't wipe this down. That's just a clean ass pod. Is that even visible? Not even any like spots of liquid down there. Been staying real clean. Can I peel this off? Nope. All right, back to the other guy. You see that? 1350 Ma Cross Nano 4. 1350 Ma is a noticeably large battery size. Out of all of the pods that ride around in my pockets all day long, this one by far lasts the longest. And look, <laughs> It makes up for it in how heavy this thing is. Dirty kitchen scale. Ounces first. 3.55 ounces. Uh, 0 0.22 pounds. Here's the thing. It's just, it's heavy. It's weighty. It's noticeably heavier than all other Vaporesso Cross Nanos. This is the biggest, honkinest one. With three clicks, I can switch between power, normal, and eco. I've been running everything for the last 1,227 puffs on just normal mode. I sometimes feel that eco is a little eh on the weak side and power has been lately, at least on every pod I've tried, a little bit overpowered. I think I feel like normal is going to give me the best of both. I'm going to get a good long coil life, lots of flavor. There's an airflow control on the side here. This actually works really well. It's pretty stiff, so it stays wherever I want it to. Doesn't open up very big. Okay, that's all normal. You go. Ah, 
the cross four coil heads, the cross series of coil heads, like banana stickers aside, are just like they're in the Hall of Fame for a reason. We're over 1200 puffs and these are just crispy and beautiful and delicious. Now the battery, the cross four nano that this is going into right now, also still pretty rad. I mean, the battery life is undeniably good. I'm paying for it with the size and weight of this, but that battery in this size, really great, really very great. As much as this whole gloss, matte gloss, I want to peel it off thing annoys me. I don't know if it's enough. It, I don't know if it's enough to really kill this in the banana stickers because literally everything else is awesome. I do kind of enjoy like the weight and how substantial this feels like some other heavier Argus A's recently. I like it for the same reason. I just haven't lost it. It's heavy. It's weighty. I know exactly where it is. There's no accidentally leaving it in my pocket and like folding it up and this pod ending up in a drawer for like two and a half weeks at a time. Just happened with some lighter pods with literally all of the things being considered. I think the Vaporesso Cross 4 Nano is going to get nine and a half banana stickers. Why not 10? I guess the, 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 the matte gloss matte looking like I need to peel it off kind of looks like a button, but looks more like I need to peel it off. I guess that annoys me more than I thought it did. I opened the blue one cause I got the blue one. This came in a big, like nine years of Vaporesso, like gift thing. Oh, I think I broke it. I got a water bottle. There was a flag here. There was a Lux here that I'm using and then the Cross 4 Nano and then I have another Gen Max. I just thought this was cool and nine years of Vaporesso. That's impressive to me. There are kind of much cooler colors and color schemes that this comes in. There's one with racing stripes, racing stripes. This isn't rambling, but it's about to be. So I can't tell you how much these cost and I can't tell you where to get them, but I would be surprised to see this kit for more than like $45. And let me also say that if you're someone who's watching this and you currently smoke combustible tobacco cigarettes, hi, you should switch. Literally all of the science says you should, and it has never been easier. There's a whole world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to just science, just education. This has been a grim green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free just every single day. <coughs> it's like 10:30, and I'm uh, just going to smoke. So 